Is the UFC's fighter pay really that bad? Or are some people just not seeing the benefits that the UFC does or has for their fighters? Let's discuss this and let's find out what I think of it. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. Salam alaikum to everyone. This is definitely the most discussed topic in the MMA world. And I, until now, other than in some streams, live streams, follow me and kick, have never really give my stance on this whole fighter pay thing but today i will do that i really do believe to start i really do believe that the ufc's payment system is good that it's better than any other organization and i will tell you why i want to say first of all there will never be a perfect payment system there is no system in the world where everybody gets paid enough tell me one company in the world where everybody gets what they think they deserve. In every company, people could earn more. Of course, prelim fighters could earn more money, but everybody wants to have more money. My colonel wants money! Are you in your job not wanting, not wanting to have more money? Everybody wants more money. So of course, people will complain, but at the end of the day, we have to look at the facts. Officially, the base contract is 12-12. 12K show up. 12k if you win you have the possibility to win 50,000 bucks in post-fight bonuses for performance of the night or fight of the night right of course those are things you have to earn same as your win bonus but you obviously come in there to win so let's just say you have and 12,000 is really the base contract that you get if you're a no-name and you come into the UFC. A bone nickel, for example, didn't come into the UFC at a 12-12 contract. I can guarantee you that much. It always depends on who you are. It's everywhere in life. The more you, man uh, the more you, you market yourself, the better you market yourself, the more you're worth. You always get paid what you're worth. If you're a prelim fighter you're not bringing, and, and you don't have a name, you're not bringing any value to the company. The company doesn't earn 24K for you per fight in terms of uh, pay-per-view and, and whatever uh, payback, you know what I mean? And they pay a lot of money for you for all the gear and stuff. So it's always about what you bring, first of all. And second of all, as I said, 12-12 only for the real beginners. Most of them have a little bit higher salaries. So let's say you fight three times per year, which is a pretty normal schedule, of course. There can be injuries and stuff. Let's just say you fight three times a year, because 12-12 is normally a young guy. Normally you're a young guy if you have 12-12. Very young guy. So let's say you fight three times per year. Let's say you win those three fights. Let's just say, okay. So then you earned three times 24K. Let's make it 25, just that it looks better. Then you have $75,000 that you earned just from fighting in one year and yeah of course it's not easy to win all three fights i'm just making this as an example and hopefully after three fights uh, normally the first contract is three fights you negotiate a better contract for yourself right if you win three fights then anyways you're gonna get a better contract plus you have the possibility to win bonuses there of course that's not promised and the fighter also has sponsorships and yeah i know fighters have to pay their manager their uh, coach if they have a manager their coach whatever of course it's not a high life, 75,000 bucks, where you still have to pay your coaches, gym fees, whatever. Of course, you're not going to live a nice life. You're going to live a very baseline life, but that's your starting point. Everybody has to start somewhere. When you start in a company with zero experience, you just start newly, you don't, you don't really earn more. You also have to start on the, on the baseline and the UFC markets you as well. What people don't see is the UFC gives you so many things other than just normal money. I mean, they have the UFC PI, which is a fucking blessing. You are allowed as a fighter, and yes, it's only one in Vegas, one in um, China, they're building one in Mexico now, one in Africa they want to build. Of course, it's not everywhere. But if you want to be a fighter, just potentially you can still say, hey, I'm gonna go try my luck and move to Vegas, live there. Train at Extreme Couture, go to the PI, just for an example. And at the UFC PI, you can train whenever you want. You have physical therapists, massage people, everything there to your availability. If you're injured in the UFC, you can go to the PI and they will take care of you. They will put meal plans for you, you have meal prep. You can get your meals at the PI. You have free drinks, everything at the PI. Everything in the PI is for you. 
24-7 available for you, of course. Maybe for some things you have to make appointments, but there is the most recent technology of all kinds of recovery, rehabilitation, whatever in the PI. The PI is literally a gold mine and you have that gold mine available for you 30, 365 days a year. You can go there whenever you want. You have all of that to your availability. That's such a bless. Tell me one organization that has anything similar. In Bellator, if you're injured, go fuck yourself. In Bellator, if you wanna go, I don't know, go physical therapist, whatever, recovery, everything. Nothing is there for you, nothing. And Bellator doesn't pay more, normally, you know what I mean? Of course, there are some UFC fighters that go to Bellator and then they get paid more because a former UFC fighter is a star in Bellator. And the UFC, for example, in five weeks, I think they also have meal prep there from the PI and stuff. So the PI is literally a gold mine. You have the marketing of the UFC. Of course, you have to bring, you always have to bring something. You cannot just go into a company, lose all the time, and then be like, hey, they didn't promote me, they didn't pay me. Like, yeah, a life of a MMA fighter is not the nicest, easiest thing in the world. It's a hard fucking journey. Not everybody can, can make it to the top. But if you win fights in the UFC, if you try to be an exciting guy, they will promote you. And the UFC has however many millions and millions and millions of followers on Instagram. The reels create millions and millions of views or hundreds of thousands of views. And they will post you, they will promote you. This is, yeah, you have to imagine when the UFC posts you, the exposure you get. But of course you have to do something for it. It's everywhere in life, you have to do something for it. Nothing gets just gifted to you. Unless you're gifted Gabe Green. Green, that just came to my head. Gifted Gabe Green, a uh, nice fighter of the UFC, by the way. Anyway, if you bring your stuff to the table, the UFC can push you limitless. Look at Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley came to the UFC as a nobody, as a brokey, had an exciting win. He went through the roof overnight. Famous as fuck. He didn't fight thousands of times in the UFC and he gets, gets paid a shit ton of money. Why? He's exciting. He comes to finish a fight. He doesn't come in there to just uh, clinch with you for three rounds. He's exciting in and out of the cage. He, he promotes himself as well. And the, Sean O'Malley never has to fight again. He just became champion, 28 years old. He never has to fight again. Tell me another organization that has a champion that never has to fight again at 28 years old, just won a title. No organization. Because the UFC is such a huge ship where you can profit so much if you do it the right way. But of course, if, if you only chill, I don't know, in your farm the whole year and just post one video per week on your Instagram of, I don't know, uh, I don't know how you milk your cows or whatever. And if you win your fights, it's by decision and you win, lose, win, lose. Of course, you're not going to get crazy contracts and sponsorships and everything. Of course not. What do you expect? But the UFC literally pays you very well if you provide the value for them. And that should be your goal. Whatever you work, provide value for your company. And as I said, 12-12 is not much money. Of course, they could pay more. Of course, I'm all for it that fighters can pay more. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to tell you that we should stop to always complain about it. If fighters just complain about it, nothing will happen. They have to do something for it to get paid more because the UFC will pay you more if they feel like you're worth more. And if you win fights, you are exciting, you promote yourself well, you put, you're active on social media and everything because you are your own company in some way. And you have to promote your own company. You can't just open a business and say, yeah, I, I don't know, I repair tires and just build a shop and then just let it be. No Instagram promotion, no nothing. Just like sitting there on your chair all day waiting for customers. It doesn't work like that. It's the same with your persona. Your persona is your company you need to promote it. All the fighters that promote themselves well get paid well. Because the UFC pays you for your value. If you don't bring any fans to the stadium, if you don't bring any people to buy the pay-per-view, why should they pay you more? For like, you know what I mean? That's one 101 business. So what I have to say again, summarizing this. Yes, I agree, the UFC could pay the fighters more, especially the premium fighters. Yes, I agree, they could pay everybody probably more. Every company could pay everybody more. That's the baseline. I do believe fighters can never be paid enough because fighters are literally putting their body, health, everything on the line for our entertainment. That's why we need to appreciate that fighters so much. Now, just try to point out to you, 
the UFC, compared to any other organization, gives so much value to you as a fighter in so many ways. They are not perfect, nobody's perfect, but people should stop to always complain and instead do something for it. Like Usman says, do something. Do something. Do something. I'm standing right here. Do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. Do something. This was my opinion on fighter pay, guys. Write in the comments. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Write all in the comments. I'm down for a discussion. Thank you so much for watching it. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and that you get paid your money's worth. Catch you sleeping. Until the next one. Bye bye. Plus, for that.